Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Mediocre Reviews and Awesome Brews. I'm your host, Tony. And I'm Jesse. And today we're going to be reviewing Southern Tears Imperial Mocha Stout. Now this is a blend of their Java and Chocolate uh, Blackwater Series Stouts. Uh, stouts on this is 11.2% ABV, 25 degrees Play-Doh. They utilize two-row barley, caramel malt, chocolate malt, black malt, barley flakes, uh, Jamaica roasted coffee, bittersweet Belgian chocolate, and then the kettle hops on this is uh, Columbus and Chinook. And this has actually been out for quite a while. It's been out for about out of the fridge for about an hour and a half. Uh, we've had a few delays, and then we ate. <laughs> but anyway, should get be into nice a glass. Room. Yeah, it should be the perfect drinking temperature because my fridge is set a little too cold. Like some of the lower ABV beers that I might have in the back of the fridge actually start to ice up. <laughs> so, but anyways, <clears throat> we've got an extremely black, black beer, even when held up to the light, nothing gets through it. Um, had, had almost a finger's worth of a nice tan colored head on it. It's um, very true to the name Blackwater series. Um, mm -hmm. What are your thoughts on it? Uh, it looks beautiful. Nice head, good dark beer. I'm excited to try this one. Okay. Well, let's get a nose on it, guys. Mm. Oh, <clears throat> that uh, coffee, or uh, that, it's coffee, right? Yeah. Mocha sure. and... Oh, wow. You get tons of roasted coffee in there. Uh, I, I smell slight hints of alcohol. Um, yeah. A little bit of roasted uh, malt in there. I get very, extremely faint hints of chocolate. I mean, I don't know what you're getting. Faint hints of chocolate. The, the roastiness between the, the roasted chocolate and the roasted malts is what hits me the most on this one. Yes, the roasted coffee and the roasted malt. Yes, that. <laughs> I like to roast my chocolate every now and then. Yeah. That's what she said. <laughs> no. Well, hey, let's go ahead and get a taste on it, guys. Cheers. 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 Damn. Hmm. Hmm. I'm tasting the coffee a lot more than I could smell it. Oh yeah, definitely. Tons of tons of coffee in there. I'm getting way more chocolate in the taste than what was in the nose. Um, I don't know about you. Are, you. are you getting alcohol in the palate? Oh yeah, quite, that, quite a bit. Of alcohol. That, that's mostly because it's it's a fairly warm beer. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> if it was colder, we wouldn't get so much alcohol in the palate right off the bat. Still, it's 11 too. That's have a little bit of alcohol no matter how cold it is. Well, yeah, that's true. Well, I don't know. They do a really good job of covering up the alcohol. Do they? Remember the uh, creme brulee? We, we didn't oh, get any of that in the, in the palate true. whatsoever. Um, we did get a little bit of warming in the chest from what I remember, but mm -hmm. as far as the palate, there was no alcohol. I mean, I'm, I'm even getting a little bit of alcohol burn in the palate, um, mm -hmm. but that's because this is, you know, yeah. as room temperature as you can get. Yeah, a lot more chocolate in the flavor and man this is awesome I don't, I don't know how they do it but southern tier is able to bring just all those flavors that they promise on the label to the glass it's just absolutely phenomenal um it really is i mean <clears throat> no i'm just gonna elaborate on the mm -hmm. the nice richness of it there's a sweetness to it mm -hmm. um that just goes so perfectly with the chocolatey notes and the the real roasty aromas. I mean, it's just put together so nicely, and it's a beautiful beer. It truly is. I mean, you get you know, all that coffee up front, it kind of fades into the chocolate, and you get those roasted malts, um, uh, <clears throat> flavors that are indicative, indicative of a, an imperial stout. Uh, you get a little bit of alcohol in the palate. Um, again, that's most likely because it's a very fairly warm uh, mm -hmm. that we're drinking 
fairly warm temperature at which we are drinking it. There you go. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I, Again, I truly don't know how they do it. Like their other black bar <clears throat> series, their creme brulee stout, it was just like in creme brulee. They washed it down with an imperial stout. Their um, their pumpkin tasted just like liquid pumpkin pie. Even even got the that sort of vanilla crust taste in there as well. I'd um, like to try that one. Well, we better go get some before it's all gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> Okay. Starting to smell a little bit more of the chocolate mm -hmm. and quite a bit more of the alcohol. Yeah, it's definitely. There, there is a little bit of that last sip I took. I got a little bit of a fruitiness in the nose right before I swallowed it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Top you off. Thank you. I gotta squeeze it sometimes to get the last couple drops out. But hey, I don't know. What, what are your final thoughts on it? Uh, Final thoughts and grade. Um, mm. Mm. Speechless. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> now this is definitely one of my favorites, um, probably of all time. Uh, great for an imperial stout, um, which is probably my favorite type of beer anyway. And it's just, uh, like you said, the, the bottle promised these flavors and it delivers wonderfully. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm gonna give this one a 10. Excellent. Um, I mean, it, this beer takes all those wonderful roasted qualities, um, indicative of an, imper of an imperial stout, um, those chocolate notes, those coffee notes, um, and it just amplifies it uh, tremendously. You know what? I think I'm gonna agree with you there. I mean, this is absolutely a 10 out of a 10 beer. Um, <clears throat> I mean, Southern Tier really has it going on as far as the dark beers are concerned. Um, well, we had their porter. And it was, there, there was something about it that it didn't quite have, um, it didn't have quite the... Uh, Did we review that one? No, we haven't, we haven't reviewed that. I'm not, I'm not remembering. Not remember. if, if we don't have it on video, I'm kind of like, oh, I don't know. Yeah. Anyways, <laughs> so far, I mean, their Imperial Stouts really have it going on. I, I, look, definitely. I definitely look forward to getting their Java and their chocolate and trying them separately. Um, I just I can never find them. Uh, I really want to try their oat uh, imperial stout because um, that sounds phenomenal. Mm. Um, but hey, yeah, ten out of ten, ten out of ten, absolutely phenomenal beer. It is seasonal, so if you can get it, get it now. Um, it's still relatively fresh release on it. So hey, we got here, guys. Mm, smells so good. Cheers. 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 Thanks for watching.